For the love of Pete. Come here. What do you think? My daughter's engaged to be married. Oh, really? How nice. We must leave for New York at once. Get reservations on the Aquitania, and we'll take the 12.30 train for Cherbourg. Hurry up and get in a maid to help with the packing. We've no time to waste. Go on and don't dawdle. Mr. De Winter, please. Oh, he's gone out riding. He won't be back till noon. Oh. Well, give me the porter, please. I'll go and see if there's anything left in my room. Has Mr. De Winter come in yet? Oh, he has. Would you connect me, please? I, uh, I, I was looking for my book. I, I, I suppose I've packed it. Well, come on. The car's waiting at the door. I'd like to leave a forwarding address if they happen to find that book. Would you ring Mr. De Winter, please? Yes, madam. 182. There isn't any answer. Thank you. Tell her to hurry up. Yes, madam. I was looking for Mr. De Winter. Mr. De Winter just ordered breakfast in his room, mademoiselle. Come to say goodbye. We're going away. What on earth are you talking about? It's true. We're going now, and I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. Where's she taking you to? New York. I don't want to go. I, I shall hate it. I shall be miserable. I'll dress in here. I shan't be long. Which would you prefer, New York or Mandalay? Oh, please don't joke about it. Mrs. Van Hoppe is waiting, and I th I'd better say goodbye now. I repeat what I said. Either you go to America with Mrs. Van Hoppe, or you come home to Mandalay with me. You mean you want a secretary or something? I'm asking you to marry me, you little fool. Is that my food? I'm famished. I didn't have any breakfast. 